Hey guys, I'm here to let you know that Celestial Pulse is on Kickstarter. We are trying to print book one and two. So, if you haven't pledged today, get on the Kickstarter and pledge today. And be sure to tell your friends. Hey guys, I would like to let you know I'll be at Wizard World Comic Con in Columbus, Ohio, July 29th through 31st, which will be held at Greater Columbus Convention Center. So if you're in town, make sure you come see me in the artist alley. Hey everyone, this is Vess, and today we're going to learn how to do anime slash manga hot dogs. So if you want to go ahead and get, go along with this whole experience, you can go ahead and get this picture from my DeviantArt so that you can go ahead and have all the colors that you need for this image. What we want to do first is we want to create the plate that we're going to put our food on. So, you know, I'm making a quick little round plate. There's nothing fancy. And, you know, in the middle of it will be the hot dog. So now I'm doing the bun, the hot dog, and all its toppings. So, you know, this is just a quick little sketch. You don't have to be crazy with it. And after you're pretty much done, you will change out a different color and, you know, lower the opacity as low as you can. Well, you can see it, but, you know, it's low. <laughs> and um, what you want to do is when you're um lining up different parts you want to take that darker shade of that color and line it up but with the bun is going to be different you're going to use all three of the colors from the light to the medium color to the dark color so that it could give it more of a gradient and the reason why we're doing it this way is because when you look at anime food they do not have that hard black line to it is usually you know the darker colors line and it's throughout the whole food and what they do is they use the airbrush tool to give it this gradient and it looks real and you want to eat it you know it's appetizing so um that's basically what i'm doing with the hot dog i am giving it is dark lines so like with the ketchup i use the dark side of the ketchup you know the dark color of the ketchup uh, for the mustard, I will use the dark color of the mustard. For the onions, I will use the dark color of the onions. So you guys will have your reference sheet. I hope you guys downloaded it so that you can use, you know, the colors that I did use to help you with trying to replicate this hot dog. And once again, I'm going to say it as much as I can, reference photos does not hurt. If you cannot draw something, if you cannot... You can't picture it in your mind and you don't know the colors. I recommend it. Highly recommend that you guys get a photo and copy off that photo because that photo will help you throughout this whole process. And um, you can you, you would have seen it in all my other videos where um, I had uh, one of the speed videos of Truth eating her carrot cake. I had a reference of the carrot cake because I didn't know what a carrot cake looked like. Like I don't eat carrot cake, so you know, I don't know what it looks like. And you guys want to keep that in mind. Always have your reference photo. So back to this, uh, what I did with uh, the relish, I added like, you know, little things on it so that it looks like QB, like, you know, how relish looks like chopped up pickles. I gave it that look a little bit, you know, not too much. Because we're going to do something to it that's going to make it look good. Um, now what we're doing with the plate is we're taking that dark color of the plate and we're making the line work. With the plate, you can use black if you want to. You you don't have to stick to this color. But I like to use this color because I feel it's more professional. It looks more anime-ish. But if you want to use um, black, you can use black. Because it's still going to look the same, you know. It's not going to look anything different. The only thing is you're going to have a more crisper line when you do your shades and shadows. So, um, pretty much when you're done, uh, you'll go into your... You click uh, with the selection tool, the bun, and you fill it with that uh, base color. And then you hit it off with the light color. So, I use three different brushes. I use um, the regular airbrush. I use the spray brush and I use the running brush and these are different brushes that is in my brush tools so um, if you don't have these type of brushes uh, I suggest that you guys you could do it by hand like you could add the little dots by hand 
and uh, give it that gradient. You want to give it that mid tone, that dark tone, and that light tone to bring it out. But do not make that light tone very light because bread is dry, so it's a matted color. So with the hot dog, it's also you know the same thing. You add that base color, and then you start with your shades. So you know you're adding your shade, and then what you want to do is you want to add shade to where the ketchup is, where the relish is, and all that because you again you want to you want to make it look like it has a dimension to it. Um, you can add burners, you know, burn marks to it and everything. But um, an another thing that's a good point is that hot dogs have um, pores, and when they cook, they f they look glossy. So what you want to do is you want to use that light color and lift it just a tad bit up to not make it look too matted. And you do want to add like, you know, a little bit of a texture like spray or, you know, a dot so that it can um, look more like a hot dog and give that texture of a hot dog feel because it's mashed up meat. So that's how it's going to look. Now for the ketchup, you will lay down your base color and you'll add your lightest color first and lift up that color just a little bit towards the middle and then add your whites. And that's what's gonna give it, you know, that plastic look feel because you have to remember, ketchup and mustard and relish, they're all wet items. So when something is wet, it will always have like a white to bring out the color or shine, you know, make make your food shine. And that's what you want because um, we're trying to make it look edible. So. We want to make it look as real as possible and this is like the only thing that's going to be like with the food it's going to be the only thing that's going to be real <laughs> in your whole like if you're drawing a picture for a commission or something like that you know it's going to be the realest thing on your character because you know you want to make the food look like you will eat it if you looked at it you know um <laughs> So with the mustard, I went ahead, I dropped that base color in there, and um, I'm doing the same thing like I did with the ketchup, you know, I added the base color, you add your shades and shadows because you know, you have to understand when it, you want to give it depth, so you want to give the gradients of dark to light, and it's on top of ketchup, so <laughs> you know, you want to give it the roundness, so you will hit it off with the darks. And you know airbrush it on and then you will hit it off with its lights so the reason why I use airbrush throughout this whole thing is the fact that I want to give it um, a gradient and the gradients I want it to be nice and smooth so that it can look a lot more real you know um, with the pen tool if I went ahead and did this with the pen tool it look more it look crisp but it'll be too crisp where it's like okay this is a cartoon it's not you know, it's not looking as real as possible. So, you know, nobody will notice it that much. But um, with the airbrush tool, I use that throughout the whole image. The only time I used the pen tool was to do the line work. And it just helps with, um, you know, lifting up colors, making the colors darker, uh, adding little strokes and making the strokes look more powdery so it can give, you know, that little feel of, you know, realness to it. The eyes, that's how I feel. If you guys feel any different, let me know in the comments below. We can have a discussion. You know, I love hearing you guys' ideas. So for the relish, what I did was I added the base color. And, um, you know, the base color is basically that big <laughs> base color that I gave you guys. If you're doing this along with me. And, um... The, the difference that I did with this one was I got, you know, the dark color and I added this sh the a different type of spray to it. So this spray is um, a droplet spray and it's supposed to give it like that pickle effect. You know how when you have pickles in a jar and the pickles is like you have that dark green and it's just spotty. It gave that spotty feel to it. So that's why I used a, a different brush for it. And then I hit it off with the darks. Of course and I gave the you know gave it a little bit crisp and then over it I hit it off with the light color and it lightened everything up and that's what you want you want to just lighten everything up and then hit it off with whites so that it can give it that nice glossy you know food like feel that it's wet and um, 
Uh, I felt I, I was pretty much done, but with the hot dog, I added little spots of white just to get show its pores, you know, because you, you want to show the pores. You want to show, you know, you want to show everything that coincides with your food. So now for the plate, I'm adding the base color to it. And I, I used the lightest gray color first, and then I hit it off with the white because um, I felt like the color of the plate, yes, it will be white, but the majority of the shade is going to be there. There's going to be a lot of shade, so you don't, you don't need to worry about, you don't need to worry about the being it base color white. It could be a light gray, and then you hit it off with the white to just give it, you know, make it pop. Um, what I like to use is the pen tool on this one, and the simple fact is plates have more detail, and they show more, you know, the, the shadow is more crisp because you have a glass plate, you don't, you know, it's not like it's a, a plastic plate, you know. Plastic plate, it'll be more, you know, shady. Um, so once you add all your shades and stuff like that, I um, made the hot dog on one layer, you know, I did all the coloring and everything on one layer and merged it. And then what I did was, uh, I ended up copying it and placing it on the plate. Like, you, you're gonna see it later on on here. And that's gonna help bring out the plate, like give it that glass-like feel to it because you know you wanna give that glass-like feel to your work and uh, make it, you know, make it look as real as possible so that when you do add this to your character, you will love it. Because <laughs> I, I did like it once I was done with my um, carrot cake on Truth. So um, I'm pretty much done with it. If you guys have like any questions or anything about how, you know, any more little details, let me know in the comments below and I'll be glad to help you guys. And this is how it looks towards the end. Again, um, I will be having this on my DeviantArt. So if you do want to, um, you know, use this as a reference and help you with drawing hot dogs, you know, you can go ahead and use it and, you know, follow along with <laughs> half of the stuff I was saying in the video. This is the time I set aside and show you guys some of Celestial Pulse's fan art. I got one from Palomino. They made Fuji Dili Ong. And it is super sweet and awesome. And I love her swords and everything about her. If you want to check out more of their artwork on DeviantArt, I will be posting the links down below. That's it for today's video. And if you like this video, like it, share it. And if you want to keep up with all the madness of me drawing and you want to know more about, you know, helping artists or you have any artist suggestions or anything, um, I always post videos every Sundays. So uh, hit that subscribe and you can keep updates on when I'm going to post my next video. So thank you very much for watching my video and have an amazing rest of the day.